Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and also I'm going to be doing a addressing a comment. It's a get ready with me but I, I really want to have a, a conversation on this comment that I got like maybe a month ago. I can't remember exactly when it was but I just want to like address it. It's a hate comment I guess you would say. I get tons and tons of hate comments and but this one like really stuck out to me and I feel like it kind of I won't say like tarnish my character or anything because I know you guys know me or whatever but I just want to address it I want to have a conversation with it I want to see what you guys think about it and let's get into the video all right so like I said I never ever address hate comments I don't even pay any mind to them but this one like I actually responded to it because I like felt that deeply like something is wrong with you seriously um and this will be the last time I ever address it by the way I'll put my hair back this one like really like kind i don't say it, would, it didn't mess my whole day up it didn't like affect my life but it kind of like got me thinking i'm like hmm like you are crazy before i even get started on this i don't want anyone to go and like bash this person say anything mean back or anything i just i just want to have a conversation that's all in the comments and let me know know what you guys think go back and watch the video this video was made like i think almost a year ago if, if not a year ago <laughs> Um, if I can even find it, that is the... Also, ignore this background. Y'all know the drill. I, I moved, like, four months ago, and I still don't have my uh, desk, like, my filming set up yet, so bear with me. Okay, so the video would... The video that I posted was, like, a vlog, I think. I don't... I really don't remember exactly. Um, was the scariest moment of my Army career as an idiot Mike. And I think I was just, I was talking about the time where we had the deployed um, for the hurricane mission and um, my unit, like the the group that I was with, we were going up into, I swear y'all, I, I swear it was like the mountains or something. And it was pitch black, pitch dark, everything. And um, I think I was like just talking about the experience and how like, as we were going like up again it was pitch black pitch dark i don't even know why i'm not doing my makeup right now but it was pitch black everything and um yeah we had been running missions like crazy i mean crazy all day all week everything like living off of really like no sleep basically um and um using the tart smoke shadow or smoke show this is a tart lit in bloom i used the um the shadow here for my eyebrows because I ran out of my brow whiz. But anyway, so anyway, so uh, me in the convoy that I was a part of, I can't remember how many people were in the convoy, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. But we had a few trucks out and we're going to this town to deliver food and water. Um, this town had no light or any like no electricity. I mean, it was crazy. The devastation was awful. People lost their homes. People had no food. People had no water. Like insane just completely sad completely like just heartbreaking and um i was just talking about um the time where um all of a sudden we were we were we were like our we were putting like our pedal to the metal like trying to get out there or whatever going as fast as we you know could could and be safe obviously but the convoy like we were getting it like just trying to get everything out and i think it was probably like 10 o'clock at night at that point all of a sudden y'all oh and the trees there were like literally hanging like trees stand up like this trees were like literally the ground is here like that light poles like that like it was crazy hanging on for dear life tractor trailers flipped upside down homes like had trees inside of them like people lost everything all of a sudden we are going up into what feels like the mountains this big tree falls out of nowhere like all you hear is and a bang like right in front of our truck our truck was we stopped like with this many seconds like that we could have died like literally died that night pitch black and i think i'm like oh my god I, like i'm like did you just shit yourself kind of scary like <laughs> but we were fine we um we went we collected ourselves obviously a big tree just fell out of the sky I don't know and it didn't end there y'all we got caught up in a power line um, and at the time I wasn't thinking like oh there's no power but like I mean you, you really never know because no one had come out to like see if um, 
like any of the power lines were dead like completely dead so we're like okay let's just go through like the truck in front of us got through so we're gonna try it no the power line ended up getting caught up in our truck our windows were down because I was like looking out the window trying to see make sure my driver could like get through I was like oh you, you, it's okay and I couldn't get out because I, th I think I didn't want I don't know why I didn't get out for, uh, specifically it was pitch black and you know but um yeah we went through in the power we ended up getting stuck in the power line and the guy was like the sheriff was like do not move like it was literally probably like right by my like right by my head he was like don't move and I was like I was so scared. I'm like, oh my god, this is it. But um, he got it. He got like this um stick or whatever, this really big stick, and like got it out of there and pushed it up somehow so that we can get out. Another your pants moment. And then the same night, I had a really really weird encounters that night. The same night, um, this person came out of the woods. Like I was standing in the street, pitch black, of course, no lights, barely any lights, and this person just comes out of the woods, like. Hey, um, could kill you, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was. It ended up being fine. But we were across the street from the jailhouse, and it was like a really small jailhouse. And I was like, "Did you just like escape from the jailhouse?" And the last, the last um, experience of that night was I was I had to go to the bathroom. Obviously, there's no bathroom like out there, and they don't work. And I was so I had to go pop a squat like in the back of this building. And I mean, I've done it plenty of times before. Being in the army, you go pee, like it doesn't matter, like you go out in the woods, whatever. Tell me why. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm almost done right, and I hear like it sounded like a like like a uh, like a, a walkie-talkie, like just cleared or something. And mind you, pitch black, can't see a goddamn thing, right? And I just hear. I didn't even wipe. I got up so fast and ran so fast I don't know what it was I don't know if it was an animal I don't know if it was one of my battle I thought it was one of my battle buddies trying to like I don't know scare me or something but I, I t still to this day I have absolutely no clue what it was but yeah anyway but the most scariest experience of that night was definitely the tree like that was probably one of the scariest moments ever like for that night um the tree was definitely one of the scariest moments of that of ever like Anyway, so I kind of talked about that in the video. I'm just kind of doing a background story of what the kind of what the scariest moment of my idiot in my career kind of thing. And mind you, it was it's my career, no one else's career. I just want to point put that out. It's my career, the scariest moment of my career, mine. So I need to read you guys whew, the comment that I got almost a year later, probably over a year. I again I. I I really don't remember exactly um actually I'm pretty sure it was over a year because I went on that mission like last August or September the comment is I don't understand how y'all can sit and complain about the smallest I'm an 11 Bravo trying to eat MREs every day for 15 months try getting shot at by 100 plus tallies and almost getting ran and almost getting overran you don't know scary and devastation watching your best friend crawl out with his intestines with his intestines hanging sad and then i said please let me know and i'm going to include all this like so y'all can see or you can go back and watch the video you know <laughs> shameless plug but i i responded i'm like please let me know you know where in this video where I was complaining and the only time I remember complain complaining in this video was when I was I was talking about this date that I was going on um, and I couldn't go because traffic like traffic kind of screwed it up so we had to like replan it or I don't remember what we did um, but yeah I was like on my way to a date and I was talking about it but um, yeah so I was like please let me know in this video where I, I was complaining and then I said FYI and I think this really triggered triggered this person <laughs> I said FYI um, going overseas to combat is very scary, yes, but it's not the only instance in life that can make someone scared. Uh, it's not the only devastation in the world. And I'm just going to kind of recap. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You guys can go back and read it if you want to. And I said, these people lost their lives. Just basically saying these people lost their lives, like lost their homes, everything they could have ever worked for. I said, 11 Bravo is not the only MOS that eat MREs every day. And I think this really like my 
to him for real and I said 11 and believe it or not 11 bravos do not make the world go around and then I just kind of said being you know being killed or whatever I'm, I apologize I'm like I'm so sorry like that that happened to you and blah 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 just kind of like like that's horrible obviously what he went through is very really bad but it also doesn't mean that other people don't go through crazy things or scary things as well like that's there's other scary crazy things you know it doesn't make the other person's um, experience worse or or give them the right to put down someone else's experience if that makes sense and I said thank you for your service whatever and then I said and then the person said when did when did I ever say 11 Bravo is the only MOS who did anything and y'all can go back and read this shit and you can obviously see like you obviously think that you know and then he was like I'm not talking about the hurricane victims I'm talking about you you can play through this entire video which I obviously didn't you guys can go back and watch I did not and then he said infantry is the backbone of the military which is super false and what other MOS had to burn their own shit which other MOS do you have to do 50 mile long patrols my point is if you're going to make a video about almost dying which I did not I did not make a video of almost dying um, please think about the real soldiers who almost die every day who had to watch multiple people die who have to been blown up nobody's talking about hurricane victims I'm talking about you you uh, do you have combat experience did you have to eat MREs every day how many times have you been hit spent the last year in a valley getting attacked seven times either you're having like some serious PTSD or you are just crazy because or making this up I feel like he's making it up I don't know I don't know the person he doesn't know me but um yes I've eaten I've eaten MREs every day yes I've gone on a 15 mile ruck march um 11 bravos are not the only MOS that deploy overseas and see crazy sh no I, the video was definitely not made off of me almost dying like I never said that ever I probably said we could have died but which is true it's completely true like I really could have died and the video had nothing to do with being in combat like nothing like that was far from the whole video oh, my brows are looking kind of good right now but I think I really kind of hurt his little feelings because I said 11 bravos don't make the world go around because every MOS makes the world go around like Everyone's job is important. Everyone worked together to make, you know, to meet the common goal. And then he said 11 Bravo is the backbone of the army. Everyone knows day one basic combat training that NCOs are the backbone of the army. Everyone knows that if you go to BLC, it's the first thing you learn at BLC. NCOs are the backbone of the army. And I think that goes for every branch as well. And MOS is not the backbone of the army. Google it, go on AKO, go on USmilitary.com go ask your freaking platoon sergeant or your first sergeant NCOs are the backbone of the army hands down I stand by that I know that for a fact maybe you forgot I don't know but um yeah I kind of res I responded with that I just basically said like this is my experience this is no one else's experience and I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad for me it was literally like it was literally um just a story time really like a small story time that he completely blew out of proportion anyway y'all know go watch the video again um he called me a pogue um which i mean i hear that all the time okay um 11 bravos call everyone pokes cool and he said so without 11 bravos the army can get the job done i'm like the army couldn't get anything done without all of us it's not just one person or one group of people. Think about it. Who drops your food? Who cooks your food? Who drops your food off? Who brings your MREs? Who goes and gets the MREs to for y'all to have? Cooks or supply. Um, who makes sure that they know where you're at? Signal. You know. So it's not just who's gonna come get you if you get hurt. Medics. Obviously, we all know CLS, so we can help each other. But who's gonna come get you when they when you need to be flown out of somewhere? Aviation. Who's gonna fuel the bird to come get you? Aviation or um, fuelers. So who's gonna give you the the ammo so that you can go fight on the front line? Ammo squad. So it's not just one MOS that gets the job done. It, it takes everyone. So yeah.
Um, and he was just kind of upset that I was kind of downplaying his experience, which I really wasn't. I was like, you know, I'm sorry that happened and thank you for your service, which who knows if he really, that really happened. But if it did, thanks. Appreciate it. Usually people who've been through some serious crap like that don't really like talk about it that way. They really don't like to talk about it, period. So that's kind of like why I was like, hmm, interesting. But I just wanted to kind of like address and say like, it's not in my character to ever like clickbait. I mean, it was kind of, the, the video was, it wasn't clickbait, but it was like, obviously like I, I titled the video to get clicks, <laughs> but it wasn't not true, if that makes sense. Um, but I was like, you know, that's not my problem that you thought it was going to be something that it wasn't because never did I state that's what that was about. You just thought it was going to be about that. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, like go back and watch the video and read the comment and see, like, do you think I'm wrong in the wrong or what? I just wanted to talk about that. Again, please don't bash anyone. I, I'm not with that. I, I don't like that. Um, so. Have you guys been noticing that I've been uploading a whole lot lately? Or trying to? What time is it? I've been uploading on, on an upload schedule at 12 o'clock, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes I'll include like a video in between and upload like randomly. But I've been loving it. It's been going really well, I think. So I'm trying to keep it up. This is the L'Oreal, I'll have everything link, linked down below by the way, True Match. But I'm definitely gonna be doing Vlogmas. I got a really good response from everyone who definitely wants me to do Vlogmas. And I think it's possible, right now I'm gonna commit to Vlogmas five days a week um, until Christmas. I might do more, we'll see. I would like to do it for the whole month of um, December, but we shall see. It's really, I'm trying to get my videos filmed like ahead of time. So, get ready for some morning routines and night routines and decorating for the holidays, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna go in with some blush. If I can find my blush palette, here it is. This is the Elf's blush palette. Really like this one. I'm gonna use these two, or these two colors today. This is the Wet n Wild highlight in Golden Flower Crown, I believe. Yes. One of my favorite highlights. And it is so pigmented, so pretty, so nice. Oh, and then the chest as well. Cannot forget the decollete. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look. And then for lips, I'm just gonna put on some chapstick. Boom. And that, you guys, is my story. Or not story time, because it's not story time. But yeah, that is just um, my get ready with me and just addressing this comment that I wasn't gonna address, but I decided to address because I just wanna, you know, start a conversation. And let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.